What's going on guys? Coming at you with another video. Today we got something special. You know, but we're gonna be working on the 9th gen today. Uh, we are gonna be doing an Acuity cold air intake. So this is gonna be looking all new. We'll do like a before and after shot. So this is the before. And then I'll do the after in a bit when we install it. But yeah, that's what we got going on today is the Acuity cold air intake. So I do have everything here. So we have the, uh, the battery tray, the new one. And then we have some hard lines, some zip ties, some hardware. We have a little rubber grommet or a rubber boot, whatever. Like that there. We have another one. Put that right next to that. Ooh. Let me set you guys down real quick. And then we have this Acuity. Sheesh. Little, how it's called, but. And look at the quality on that. This is nice, really nice. I like the purple on it. It's like a different color. But, and then we got some hose clamps. Let's see it, put the hardware right next to that. We have like the MAP airflow sensor or something. A little extension. I, don't know. I haven't really watched the video yet, so I don't know how to install it, but we'll figure it out. And then we also have the cone, which is really nice. Watch this go black in like <laughs> two weeks. So what I did right now was just remove the front bumper. I showed you like a little clip. So you do remove it from like this, uh, I think there's like eight top bolts and then like four bottom bolts. And then the side ones on the way here, the Phillips screwdriver. And then you just take it off. But, and then you disconnect the fog lights. But since I have some HIDs, I had to do what actual work. And then there it goes, little SI. Remove the battery, probably draining the engine of coolant because we do have to do some coolant lines. So we're gonna have to go do that. guys so right now i'm gonna be removing the math air force sensor and i'm gonna just be putting it on this little towel right here just because i want to clean it out and just make sure it's clean um so the way you take it out is these two screws right here and then there is a little uh connector right here there is like a little tab right there so you just press on the tab this comes out you literally just press right here and then just pull out so like that so just Press on the tab. I don't know how how you guys are familiar with cars, but you just press on the tab right here, and just pull it out. Grab the wires or something while you're press pressing down. And then there is some screws right there. 
After that, I'm gonna put on this little towel so it doesn't get dirty and stuff. Dirty. I've never seen a dirty ear intake like this before. Shoot, look, you even got a hair or something on it. Right now we're just gonna be removing the ECU. Um, so right now you just gotta move the cover, easy like that. Just you know, ECU is hold on is with this bolt right there. One looks like a 10 mil right there, and the other one's back there, right by the by the brake thing. So 10 mil right there, and then flip it over, disconnect the. Uh, harness make sure your battery's off i know some i don't know if you're doing it like vice versa or something but make sure your battery's off because you don't want your ecu to be shortened because this is basically the brain of the engine and everything so this was signals everything so you know your neurons <laughs> but yeah uh after that i'm gonna uh disconnect or already i already loosened these up right here so those two go are gonna get off and there's also two more screws underneath Disconnect this guy right here, which is connected right there, and then take the little clip off from right here. You guys can see, so there's gonna be a little clip. You just push up and then pull it out. Next up is, oh, you want to get this wiring harness um, over this coolant. So you want to uh, go over it, not because it's under right now. You guys can see under. You want to go through. take that. Um, so take that um, clamp off, push it up out, and then you want to have some some towels just in case it does start to leak out a little bit but yeah right there and then you want to line it up to this little arrow so I just have it like centered 
like that would be good right there now we just gotta take the wire strip off cut it and then guys I'm back change shirts took a shower but um we're gonna remove these three bolts over here so one two three that go for the uh battery relocate so that's what we're gonna be doing right now i got the jack underneath there connecting the math airflow sensor so I like that where that says math airflow sensor or connector and I'll get you closer right there go I just connect that right there just like that just connect that little cable right there this one right here the little green one or the ground right now so you want to have the uh, there's a little good a little notch on the side. I gotta put this one. Next thing you wanna do is install the ECU. I went ahead and already um, connected everything. Clip it again. You just pop the tool like that. Connect this side. Connect the male end to this side. You hear that click? Bam. One right here. Two. Coolant up here. Three. And then I already took this one off, but this one connects to this guy right here. So take this off, and then also take this one down off right here back there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you gotta take that one off as well. You are gonna have to take off this screw right here. Right here, it's just a 10 mil and another 10 mil over here and then this whole assembly should come off and what you want to do is take off this breather hose as well just remove the older intake the old cold air cold air intake um we gotta mount the Vibration it right here. So the hand tighten it. The air filter right here. So what I did was I already went ahead and clamped it right where the rim sits. So you guys can see it sits flush. That's how you want it. There is gonna be a lip on there where you wanna have it like seat on there so you can have a good fit like this. Cause that that's not going anywhere. But this goes on last. So I'm gonna show you how how to connect the pieces so okay, so we have the QED cold air into just put it over the lip and then there you go I'm gonna put I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the car with the C clamps on but that's how that's how you're supposed to connect it and it goes through the hole So before I do turn on the car, I'm going to be installing Honda and what that is is going to just help it uh, run better 
But I'm gonna just give you guys an overview of the install. So we got the acuity intake. I have a stock manifold, so that's gonna just stay there for right now. Uh, relocated the battery. We got the clamp one already good, clamp two already good, and then rolls around. You guys can see there's still a little bit of space. You guys can see like the little light down there, but it's because there's still a little bit of space down there. That's what you want. You don't want it to rumble when you're driving or anything. And then the clamps down here as well. You want to make sure they're over that lip because, yeah, and then this one just sits flush. But that's how you install it. All I got to do is do the map sensor. And yeah. I'm actually gonna continue this video then. I'll show you how uh, what tune I put on the car or what flash tune I put it on there. All right, guys. So we just finished up installing the QBD intake, cold air intake, long ram intake, whatever you want to call it. But so right now I do have the Honda up already um, installed in the car and everything. Shout out to Jacob for showing me everything literally on Honda. So now I have more of a feel on how to actually play around with the car and stuff like that so the calibration that i use for the gonna be the u.s civic um the 2012 through 2014 prll intake because this car is uh everything else is stock besides the intake so that's what we're gonna be doing so that's the tune i use i just freaking hit okay and then and hit the little arrow on the top left to upload it but i'm not gonna do that because i already did it but everything looks to be normal yeah these next couple of clips, I am gonna be just doing a sound test on the QD intake. So I hope you guys like the install and I'll catch you guys on the next one.